Maverick to range control, stand by. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> you just can't create this kind of experience unless you shoot it live. You guys excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cameras in the cockpit, underwater, even mounted on a jet. All right, here we go. Here comes some jeans. At times, there were 27 cameras shooting simultaneously. We worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. This cast went through five months of flight training, led by instructor Tom. I started them out in a single engine airplane to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Everybody thought it would be impossible for actors to really be in the jets. But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. You can't act that. The distortion in the face, they're pulling seven and a half HEs. That's 1,600 pounds of force. I am so proud of them and what they've done. And it is heavy duty. Oh, okay. What else went into making this movie authentic? This airplane that you see in the background, that's that's called a P-51. That's a World War II airplane, and that's mine. <laughs> that's my plane. Yeah, Tom brought his own plane. As for Miles Teller, he took seven weeks of piano lessons so he could play Great Balls of Fire as a tribute to his movie dad, Goose. Goodness gracious, Great Balls of Fire! He's an extremely intelligent and talented pilot. Jeez, Rooster, not that fast! But he has a lot to learn. Forget the book. Trust your instincts. He just naturally just started to bring just started to bring it and we as we were as we were developing it and testing it we do kind of hair and makeup tests and spend time together uh, and I knew right away just when we were there that that this is he's he's rooster rooster was the role Glenn Powell wanted but when he was offered the role of hangman instead he originally turned it down I just don't can't even imagine what it would feel like to have said no you know this is a lesson for all of us don't say no to Tom Cruise I want to give them an event. That's always my goal. It's kind of simple, but that's what I do.